Hello, I am Marianne and we are going to do a yin yoga routine that will uh, help us stretch the inside of the thighs and the outside. Now, I like creating a lot of silence in class, so I'll give you cues on how to do the poses, but also if you would like to know more about how to do the individual poses, I would say check the playlist that we have created for that. Now, let's begin. Get comfortable and close your eyes. So let's start with some silence first. Make sure you're comfortable. You can close your eyes. And if you prefer having your eyes open, make sure you keep a soft gaze and just look to the ground right in front of you. Good. And then relax the body. Relax the breath and let's find some silence together and then we'll move on. Good, and then from here, start inhaling really deeply. Exhale out through the mouth. We'll do four more. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully. So in through the nose. Out through the mouth. About two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one here. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. And then let the breath be. Let it move at its own pace. And then you can follow me if you want to. Press, bring your hands towards your chest and relax them there. Or maybe you prefer having your hands in Namaste. Now, what is a thought you would like to keep with you during your practice? One that can give you strength and energy? So take that thought with you. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and anchor that intention by bowing to your heart, towards your hands. And then you can lift the head back up. Drop the hands down. And let's move into our first yin yoga pose. Now you want to have the feet in front of you. You can stay on the bolster or you can come off the bolster if you were sitting on one. Now soles of the feet can be together can also be a part. It can also be more like a diamond shape, so then you move your feet forward or you pull them closer. You want to start creating a stretch on the inside of your thighs. Now for some of you, maybe you would like to put a blanket on the, underneath the thigh for some support. And then you can choose either you stay upright or perhaps you can Move forwards and bow forwards. Now don't grip, relax. Relax the hands, relax the arms. I'm just going to turn sideways. And then we're going to stay for about three minutes. Now the extra advantage if you can bow forwards is if you also lengthen the spine and you give a light stretch to your back muscles. Okay. 
But the target is mainly to stretch the inside of your thighs. Perhaps you want to walk your hands forward, palms down, or palms up. So when you bow forwards, you can use the gravity and the weight of your upper body to increase the stretch on the inside of your thighs. Now if you have the feeling you're being pressed back, come back up, put a blanket underneath your body, and then try again. And then let's find the stillness here. We'll hold the pose for three minutes. We focus on the sensations in our body. And we focus on the movement of the breath in our body. So stay where you are. Stay with the breath. And keep on observing what is happening inside. So what can you notice? What can you feel? And also what is going on inside of your head? And allow yourself to look at it and not having to do anything with it. Just look at it. What is happening inside of you? Good, just a little longer. So let's deepen the breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Two more. And then gently come back up. Now keep your legs where they are. I'm just going to move towards you again, facing you. Now keep your right knee where it is. Just extend your left leg sideways. Mm. And then just see how far you can open up. So let it right knee out to the side, left leg sideways. Just as far as you can go. And then start looking for a stretch again. And I can feel it towards the back of the knee. Now make sure it's not painful, but you do want to feel a stretch. Now your option could be to maybe go forwards. Or perhaps you prefer having a stretch more to the back of the left leg and you turn towards it. And you can go forwards. Or, if you want to feel it on the inside and at the side of the torso, perhaps you want to lean towards that left leg, perhaps support your head, perhaps you want to bring that arm on top of your head. And then I'll stay there. So choose the option that you want to do today. So you want to feel the stretch, but you do not want to be in any pain. So if it's too intense, you can always move the legs in towards each other.
Yeah, so just notice how the breath is moving through you and how the pose is influencing the way you breathe. Stay where you are. If you've chosen for the lateral stretch and you want to change it, you can always go forward. You still have about a minute to go. Good. Let's do five more. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Four more. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully. Three more. Let's do three more. And the last two. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully. And then the last one. And then come up. And then help your left leg by bringing the left hand behind the knee. Pull it up. And let's change sides. So now the left knee is bent. Let's stretch that right leg out to the side. Now see how big you want to make that angle. And when you've reached your edge, you can't go any further, you stay. Now choose again. Where do you want to do the lateral stretch with the torso? Or where do you want to go forwards? Or where do you want to need to stay upright? Now the left hand can be on the head, but you can also wrap it around your back. And then you turn the navel forwards sideways. And then perhaps rest the head on your hand or a fist. And if your leg seems too far, grab a blanket, put it on your thigh. Good. So you want to feel the stretch again on the inside of your right leg. And perhaps you'll also feel it on the left side. And let's stay here for three. Three minutes. And if you're doing the lateral stretch, you'll also feel the stretch on the left side of your torso, hip to ribs. Now, whether you have your eyes open or closed, relax them. Keep them soft. So feel the movement of the breath again in your body. Can you feel it down in your belly? Can you feel it in your chest, near the ribs, or in your back? And if you chose the lateral stretch and you want to go forwards, do that.
You just go as far forward as you can. Maybe you can even go all the way forward onto your elbows or lower. Or perhaps you want to stay up onto the hands. Good, five more. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Four more. Three more. And walk your way up. Another one, inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Good. Now your right hand behind the right knee and then pull it up and in. And I'm going to turn sideways to show you the next pose. Bring your left foot down, left knee up. Or maybe actually bring it down first. Grab the right ankle, place it on your left thigh. And then lean back, place your left foot down for seated swan. You want to feel it on the outside of the right thigh. Could be that this is just a really light stretch for you. Just give it a try. We don't always have to go to a maximum stretch. We'll stay here for now. You can lock the elbows or you can unlock them. And the closer you bring your left foot, the more intense I think it will be. I cannot really feel a stretch on the outside of my right thigh. If I'm here, I can feel it, but it's really light. So this way you can adapt the pose slightly. Good. So we've moved from the inside of the thigh to the outside of the thigh, towards the glutes and the side of your thigh. breath to slow down. So with every breath you take, make it a little slower, make it a little deeper. So you breathe in, two, three, four, and then you exhale again, two, three, four. Maybe the next round is going to be inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. So continue in a rhythm that works for you. Just a little longer. about three more. So inhale deeply, exhale fully, last two. And one more. And then from here we'll move into what they call fire leg. So you move that left foot to the right, walk your way up. Let's see what you can drop that right knee down. Now mine can go all the way down, but for some of you it might still be up in the air. Then grab a prop, put it underneath it. Send your body back, sending bones down. You want to create some tension at the outside of your thighs. If you don't use, if, sorry, if you don't need the prop, move it away. So right foot on your left thigh, fire it. Let's try three minutes as well. I'll time it for us. I'll 
also when you have the feeling of being pressed back. Perhaps you want to sit onto a blanket so you can keep the spine straight. And then the goal is not to get your knee down to your foot. So make sure that you feel the stretch on the outside and that you can feel it deeper in the hip joint. So that's why we want to create some flexibility too. And let's find the silence again. Let's enjoy the silence. So relax your feet, relax your hands, fingers. Relax the face. And then about five more. Feel the rising and the falling of the chest and belly. And about two more. Good. Open up your eyes if you have them closed. To come out of it, lean back. Stretch the left leg and put the right foot on the inside of your left knee. And then hug your right knee towards you and twist to the right. We'll just do it for 20 counts. Twisting to the right. Support yourself by placing that right hand behind you and lift yourself up. And then turn. Look back. And then also you want to feel that stretch on the outside of your thigh. And also feel the twist in your back. And then about 10 more. Last three. I know my breath might be slower than yours, but let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. And then turn back to the front. And stretch that right leg out. Lean back for a second. And windshield wipers again. Make sure there's space to move. Feet in and out. Good. We're ready for the other side. So I'm just going to turn around. So when I twist again, I'll be twisting towards you. So, swan or seated swan first. Left foot, right thigh, bring the right foot closer and perhaps walk that right foot in or your buttock towards the heel. You decide how intense you want to make it. And then let's do three minutes. Lean back. Support yourself with the hands behind you. Hmm, and then settle in.
This is never completely static, so you can always adapt it slowly, make it more intense or less intense. And sometimes you have to experiment a little to see what you need. Whether you need to move your foot forward or backwards. And then just notice what can you feel on the eyes out of your left thigh. And also feel the rising and the falling of your belly. So belly breathing, let it come up on your inhale. Exhale, it drops back down. And then go on, go on in your own pace. Good. So at your own pace, let the belly rise. And exhale, drop it down. Okay, let's do five more. You inhale deeply. Exhale. Four more. Three more. Last two. And last one. Now walk the right foot a little forwards and then the right foot to the left for fire look. And then just see how far that left leg wants to turn out and down. Now remember, you can always use a prop, put it underneath the thigh and then use it as a support for that left leg. And I know this hip feels a little different than my right, so I'm gonna use the blanket here. So three more minutes, fire lock. You can also sit upright, give yourself a little bit of support with the fingers so you can keep that spine tall. And I know some of you can maybe walk forwards and then just see, you might feel to start more and perhaps you can go all the way forwards and fold forwards over your legs. Now what you're looking for is an intense or at least a stretch around the femur bone and in the hip socket. I'm just going to stay here for now. And maybe you want to join me. See whether you can go a little bit more forward. Perhaps you keep your spine as straight as you can. Or perhaps you want to round it. And perhaps you want to place your hands in front of you for support. And then check in again with yourself. Can you feel that stretch? If you want to start walking back up, stay here for a little longer. Take a breath a little deeper again. Four. 
four more. And then last two. And the last one. Good, we're ready for the twist. Lean back, remove the props, if you were using them, and then right leg is straight, left foot on the inside of your right leg, and then turn to that left leg, wrap your right arm around the left knee, and then twist to the left. 20 counts. Feel the twist in your back. And perhaps you can also feel the stretch again on the ice of your thigh. And about 15 more. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. If it's too intense for your neck, you can also look sideways or forward. And about five more. And then four. Three. Two. And one. Let go. Turn forwards. Place both of your feet down. Body towards your heels. And then lower yourself down onto the ground. Now, left leg is going to be straight and then the right foot is on the inside of the left knee. We're going to twist around our midline, so lie down on your left hip and then you twist to the left. So now you have a straight line from the left foot around the spine towards the crown. And then put your head down. And then we'll stay here for a little while before we do our Shavasana. So relax the breath again, close your eyes, you're going to feel the twist, perhaps hook that right foot behind the left knee, And we also might feel a stretch alongside your body and your thigh. Just a few more. And then your, on your next inhale, come back up and let's change sides. Move your hips back to the middle. Now your right leg. It's going to be straight down, left knee is up, turn to your right hip and turn that left knee to the right. And put the left arm to the side or alongside your body. Or perhaps on your ribs. So again that straight line from your right heel alongside the spine up to the crown. So you turn around the midline of your body.
And I'm still here with you. Relax your body the best way you can. Softening the face. Relaxing the breath and the hands and the fingers, the feet. And now let's move into Shavasana. So roll back. Make sure your hips are in the middle. Legs down. Upper body down. Arms alongside your body, palms up. And eyes closed. And then move the tension from the front of your body to the back of your body. So notice where your body is touching the ground. Let your whole body become heavy. And let's stay here for a couple. Well, actually we should stay for five minutes or eight, but we'll do a little shorter. But you can always stay longer if you want to. Relax the body, relax the breath, relax the face. So notice the effect of your practice. And when you have the time to stay, stay. Rest in Shavasana for a little longer. Or you can join me. Start moving fingers and toes. And also at the same time, start to deepen your breath. And then perhaps hug your knees in towards your chest. Now we roll from side to side, massaging your lower back. And then keep your eyes closed, roll onto your left side and come back. And then find a comfortable seat again. And then tune into your breath, tune into your body. Notice the effect of the practice. And then you can follow me. Bring the hands back either to the chest or into Namaste. Thinking back to your intention. So bring it back to mind. And then take it with you. Take another deep inhale. And as you exhale, bow to your heart. Thank yourself for practicing. And then you can drop the hands down, bring the head back up, and open up your eyes. So I hope you feel a little bit more flexible. And let me know how it is going. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope to see you next time.